CERN is the home of the world's largest collider, and they are in a quest to solve the puzzles of the universe that surrounds our world. The latest discovery from the renowned High Energy Physics Laboratory at CERN has made headlines. Their Large Hadron Collider has produced something quite extraordinary that has the potential to change our understanding of the universe. This study's conclusions suggest that the very concerning results might point to the possibility of life on other planets. However, what exactly is this new finding, and how incredible is it? Join us as we delve into what CERN scientists uncovered. In a recent experiment with the Large Hadron Collider, CERN scientists noticed something strange with a particular kind of quark. Quarks are the important building blocks of all matter and are classified into flavors by physicists. A few of these so-called quark flavors quickly decayed and were incredibly unstable. The subject of this abnormality was the beauty quark, which has a normal lifespan. Corresponding to 1.5 trillionths of a second, the decay behavior of the quark was very different from the predictions made by physicists using the standard model. Their predictions state that a beautiful quark should decay into a set of lighter particles known as leptons, either an electron or a muon, with a 50 50 chance for each particle, according to the standard model. The weak force should govern the decay. However, the data obtained from the Large Hadron Collider revealed a very different picture, these quarks decay into muons just 70% of the time, compared to electrons. This was particularly noteworthy because electrons and muons are carbon copies of one another, the only difference is that the muon is 200 times heavier. However, the rate of transformation shouldn't be impacted. Since the beauty quarks decay through the weak force, all the forces in the standard model should pull on these two particles equally, and both should change the same number of times. This anomaly can only occur if a previously unknown sort of particle is involved in the process. It has led some scientists to propose that an unusual type of physics might be at work. New physics resulting from the discovery of a force-carrying particle could extend the current standard model and answer several open puzzles. Since there are currently few methods available for searching for particles, the standard model theory serves as the best guide to the behavior of the strange world of particles. An exact scientific framework known as the standard model explains all that we know about the important elements of the physical universe. Surprisingly, physicists are well aware that this model still needs to be finished and that many more parts need to be added to the reality puzzle, even with this reasonably high level of accuracy. The electromagnetic, strong, and weak forces are the only three important forces the standard model can adequately describe. Currently, there is no description of gravity's power or an explanation for the universe's most powerful kind of matter, dark matter. In the course of recent tests, scientists discovered an abnormality in the data they were examining that did not fit the known parameters of the standard model. This time, however, something has attracted the attention of experts, and they understood that they needed to take a deeper look to differentiate this new occurrence, even though it is normally common to uncover results outside of this model with the large volume of data that the LHC puts out. The researchers speculated about the possibility of a brand new force-carrying particle, Z prime, which they named a new basic particle to explain this extraordinary discovery. The researchers also found that this force would interact differently with muons and electrons, even though it is most likely very weak, given the lack of evidence for it thus far. However, the extent to which this force interacts with the standard model particles is still unknown. If new force-carrying particles were discovered, this would be the breakthrough physics has been waiting decades for. If this discovery is proven, physicists believe it may help solve long-standing puzzles about the cosmos and provide a complete picture of the Higgs boson's involvement in the creation of our world, among other long-standing concerns. According to a proposal by some scientists, this unidentified force might aid in the union of the basic forces of existence, like the Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, which has been physics's main objective for the past century. The Large Hadron Collider discovered the God particle a major turning point in particle physics was reached in 2012 with the discovery of the Higgs boson at CERN's Large Hadron Collider. Since then, the ATLAS and CMS teams have been carefully examining the properties of this unusual particle and seeking to figure out the various ways it is created and decays into other particles. ATLAS and CMS provide the first evidence of the unusual process in which the Higgs boson decays into a Z boson, the electrically neutral carrier of the weak force, and a photon, the carrier of the electromagnetic force, at the Large Hadron Collider Physics Conference. Indirect proof of the existence of particles other than those expected by the standard model of particle physics could come from this Higgs boson decay. Similar to a photon decaying into two photons, the Higgs boson decays into a Z boson and a photon. The Higgs boson does not decay directly into these pairs during these events. 
Rather, the decays happen through a middle loop of inactive particles that appear and disappear and are not detectable immediately. These inactive particles may interact with the Higgs boson in ways that have not yet been identified. The Higgs boson is believed to be an elementary particle connected to the Higgs field. It is this field's quantum excitation. Amid others in the zoo of particles, the boson itself is like a whole new species. It lacks the quantum characteristics of both the carriers of quantum interactions, such as the weak force, electromagnetic force, and nuclear interactions, and the features of elementary matter. At the Large Hadron Collider, the two massive multifunctional experiments ATLAS and CMS simultaneously made the groundbreaking discovery of the Higgs boson. On July 4, 2012, it was declared at CERN. At the time, the new scalar boson was observed mainly in two rare decay channels, which offered the cleanest signal, the decay was observed in a pair of photons, which involved a purely quantum virtual process, and the direct decay was observed in a pair of Z bosons, the carrier of the neutral weak interaction. The discovery of the Higgs boson at that time may have completed the standard model, but this wasn't the end of investigating this elusive particle. One of the significant discoveries made since 2012 involved confirmation of the decay of the Higgs. At the time, CERN predicted that further research on this elusive particle would be conducted during the third cycle of the LHC, especially after the high-radiance upgrade of the particle accelerator is finished in 2029. This will allow the LHC to perform more collisions, giving scientists more chances to identify unusual physics, such as phenomena not covered by the standard model. According to CERN's estimates, the accelerator will produce 15 million of these particles annually as it is updated. In comparison, the LHC produced 3 million Higgs bosons in 2017. This could play a crucial role in identifying more Higgs boson flavors. Beyond the standard model of particle physics, Theories predict the production of up to five distinct forms of Higgs bosons, which could be less common than the important Higgs boson. Strong evidence of a magnetic Higgs boson has already been presented by physicists, even before the improvements. However, what exactly makes this Higgs boson so significant? In the initial moments following the universe's creation, this Higgs field was crucial. It establishes the basic characteristics of the vacuum that permeates our spacetime. It is the cause of the existence of matter and interactions as we understand them, as well as the reason the mass of all known elementary particles appears. Without the Higgs field and the Higgs boson, the cosmos would not contain any atomic elements, stars, or life. The God particle nickname for the Higgs boson became official after it was discovered, primarily because of the media. This is typically traced back to physicist Leon Letterman, who won the Nobel Prize in Physics, calling the Higgs boson the goddamn particle because of how hard it was to detect. Business Insider claims that Letterman intended for his book on the Higgs boson to be titled The Goddamn Particle when he published it in the 1990s, but the publishers changed their minds, and it became the God particle instead. That started a problematic relationship between the particle and religion that concerns modern physicists. Since this Higgs field determines the very nature of the air that fills our spacetime, it played an important role in the early moments after the universe's formation. It is the cause of the appearance of the mass of all known elementary particles and the possibility of matter and relations as we know them. It is difficult to overestimate the importance of the Higgs boson and Higgs field, though, as only particles would possess mass in this element of the natural world. That implies that there wouldn't be any planets, stars, or people, which could provide some context for its exaggerated nickname. The finding of the Higgs boson may have finalized the standard model, but it did not mark the end of the research into this mysterious particle. This will enable the LHC to perform more collisions, allowing scientists to identify unusual physics, such as conditions not explained by the standard model. The Large Hadron Collider since the European Council for Nuclear Research, CERN, was founded in the middle of the 1950s, the organization has conducted some truly amazing experiments. They have been in the public eye for several positive and negative reasons. People's reactions to the various trials they have conducted have been conflicted. Because of the organization's massive financing and the nature of their study, some of their trials have inspired dread of the probable formation of black holes, rips in our reality, and many other hypotheses. Among all their experiments, constructing the Large Hadron Collider is one of the most well-known and controversial accomplishments that still stands out today. The largest particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider, is more than 27 kilometers in circumference and costs more than four and a half billion dollars. That sum of money is huge. Even so, many people who favor CERN's investigations would claim that the money was well spent because, since the LHC's construction, it has produced some of the most important discoveries in recent years.
The Higgs boson, also referred to as the God particle, and numerous other particles that had never been observed before were discovered by the LHC, which was startling. Various particles can be accelerated repeatedly around the loop by this huge LHC. This process continues until the particles approach the speed of light and accomplish more than 11,000 laps per second. They generated a magnetic field inside the accelerator using incredibly strong electromagnetics. The magnetic field surrounding Earth is less strong than this one, over 100,000 times less. However, not everyone is a devotee of science, particularly when it comes to science that seems as controversial as the CERN experiments. A few individuals have expressed concern about the potential impact of creating such a strong magnetic field on nearby devices and the Earth's magnetic field itself. The particles traveling in opposite directions are driven to merge when these particles reach their maximum speed, which is 99.999999% the speed of light. This strong collision releases a large amount of energy and particles. The capacity to accelerate a wide range of particles was a design goal when the LHC was constructed. This will enable scientists to observe various particles emerging from the hits. CERN built the largest and highest energy particle collider in human history, the Large Hadron Collider, between 1998 and 2008. Over 10,000 scientists, hundreds of universities, and laboratories from more than 100 nations helped with this procedure. It is situated within a 27-kilometer long tunnel. Approximately 175 meters below the surface, near Geneva, lies the boundary between France and Switzerland. Constructed between 1983 and 1988, the 3.8-meter-wide tunnel coated with concrete was the previous home of the Large Electron-Positron Collider. There are four spots along the tunnel where it crosses the French border, most of which are in France. Optional equipment like compressors, ventilation systems, control electronics, and refrigeration plants are housed in surface structures. The beams are directed to four junction locations via superconducting quadrupole electromagnets, where interactions between accelerated protons occur. Two nearby parallel beam lines, with beams in each that travel around the ring in opposing directions can be found in the collider tunnel. Some 1,232 dipole magnets keep the beams on their circular path, while an additional 392 quadrupole magnets are used to keep the beams focused, with stronger quadrupole magnets close to the intersection points to maximize the chances of interaction where the two beams cross. Magnets of higher multipole orders correct smaller imperfections in the field geometry. About 10,000 superconducting magnets are installed, with the dipole magnets having a mass of over 27 tons. About 96 tons of superfluid helium, 4 are needed to keep the magnets, made of copper-clad niobium-titanium, at their operating temperature of 1.9 K, making the LHC the largest cryogenic facility in the world at liquid helium temperature. LHC uses 470 tons of NBT superconductor. About 200 megawatts of electricity are needed for LHC operations at the CERN site from the French electrical grid, this amounts to almost one-third of Geneva's energy consumption, approximately 120 megawatts of that electricity are used by the LHC accelerator and detectors. 140 terabytes of data are produced daily while it operates. The field of the superconducting dipole magnets increases from 0.54 to 7.7 teslas when the protons are accelerated from 450 GeV to 6.5 TeV, once or twice a day, at an energy of 6.5 TeV per proton. The protons each have an energy of 6.5 TeV, giving a total collision energy of 13 TeV. At this energy, the protons have a Lorentz factor of about 6930 and move at about 0.9999999990 c, or about 3.1 meters per second slower than the speed of light. A proton takes less than 90 microseconds to travel 26.7 kilometers around the main ring. This results in 11,245 revolutions per second for protons, whether the particles are at low or high energy in the main ring, since the speed difference between these energies is beyond the fifth decimal. Instead of continuous beams, the protons are grouped into 2,808 bunches, each containing 115 billion protons. This allows for separate contacts between the two beams, primarily occurring 25 nanoseconds apart, and results in a collision rate of 40 MHz. In the early years, fewer bunches were used to operate it. In June 2016, the LHC attained its design intensity of 1034 cm 2 s one By 2017, this value had been doubled. The speeding particles smash at four crossing sites in the collider. There are nine detectors placed around the crossing sites, each intended to identify unique characteristics. 
the LHC primarily collides proton beams, although it can accelerate heavy ion beams, such as lead-lead and proton-lead collisions. The LHC was built to allow researchers to test predictions of different particle physics theories. Among these predictions are measurements of the properties of the Higgs boson, searches for the huge family of new particles anticipated by supersymmetric theories, and investigations into other mysteries of particle physics. Between 2013 and 2015, the LHC was improved and shut down, reaching 6.5 TV per beam. It was closed at the end of 2018 for repairs and extra renovations, and more than three years later, in April 2022, it reopened. Many physicists think that the Large Hadron Collider will help resolve some of the major unsolved physics mysteries. These include the basic rules governing the forces and relationships between elementary particles and the deep structure of space and time, focusing on the relationship between general relativity and quantum mechanics. The Large Hadron Collider's primary function is to collide proton beams. Furthermore, it can accelerate lead ion beams. Every year, photon and lead collisions are typically conducted for one month. Testing the predictions of numerous particle physics theories is the main goal of the Large Hadron Collider for physicists. It is important to note that they are testing the properties of the Higgs boson and searching for a massive family of new particles predicted by subatomic particle theories. Like the electromagnetic force that holds atoms and molecules together, hadrons are subatomic composite particles of quarks held together by a strong force. Some of the most well-known hadrons are protons and neutrons, others include the pion and kaon mesons, which were discovered during cosmic ray experiments in the late 1940s and early 1950s. The LHC brings together two beams of opposing particles to collide. The Large Hadron Collider accelerates particles faster than any other particle accelerator, finally colliding and releasing a shower of particles. Despite all the accomplishments, some still have beliefs that make people fearful. Dangers of the Large Hadron Collider, the Mandela Effect Fiona Broom created the term Mandela Effect in 2009, and its origins are as fascinating as the concept itself. Broom recalled seeing Nelson Mandela's widow give a heartbreaking statement during the broadcast of his passing in the 1980s. The fact that Mandela died in 2013 rather than the 1980s, as Broom and others had said, raised a puzzle. Given the widespread and reliable false memory reported by several people, it is unlikely that people merely misremember things. Feeling rattled by the encounter, Broom set up a website to research the Mandela effect, talking to people who had gone through similar things and trying to make sense of this strange thing. Some say the Mandela effect is connected to CERN, and we have been living on a different timeline since 2022, when scientists at CERN opened the portal to another reality. This suggests that the experiment conducted by CERN's Large Hadron Collider may have fractured our universe, leading to the existence of humanity in a parallel universe, thus causing the Mandela effect. The ability of human memory and the impact of cultural myths and misinformation are just a few explanations for this collective mismemory. However, some scientists think that quantum the theories and research from the Large Hadron Collider may hold secrets about the nature of reality and the possibility of parallel universes. These theories give us a glimpse into the vast and mysterious nature of the universe, even if they are still being investigated and tested. This encourages us to keep looking for answers to these eternal riddles. The intriguing black hole A black hole is a region of spacetime where gravity is so strong that nothing can escape from it with enough power, not even electromagnetic waves or light. A black hole operates similarly to an ideal black body because it does not reflect light. Recently, several scientists have expressed concern over the Large Hadron Collider at CERN being used to create black holes. CERN scientists acknowledge that the Large Hadron Collider may produce a very small black hole based on scientific knowledge. When weighing the risks, experts at CERN assured that any little black hole formed would not endanger human life or the planet because it would be too small and unstable to last for very long, disappearing as soon as it was created. Most black holes are created when a big star explodes, leaving behind its remnants. Smaller stars eventually become dense neutron stars, lacking the mass required to support life. If the star's mass is high enough, it will likely show that no force can stop it from collapsing due to gravity. But when the star lowers, something strange happens, it will break under its own weight. It collapses into itself and creates a black hole, a phenomenon that scientists are still attempting to understand. Black holes are a concept in space that has fascinated humans for decades. In terms of the universe, they are among the most enigmatic features. These celestial objects, which are surrounded by a mysterious event horizon, the point beyond which nothing can escape, can significantly distort the fabric of spacetime itself. They can devour anything that ventures too near, even light itself. 
The discovery of black holes and the study of their characteristics have challenged our understanding of physics and the universe's nature. Although they have long been hypothesized, their existence was only recently confirmed by direct observation. The black hole at the heart of the M87 galaxy, which was imaged by the Event Horizon Telescope in 2019, was the first to be directly photographed. The image was a landmark achievement in astrophysics, offering researchers valuable insights into these mysterious cosmic phenomena. This is a watershed moment in the study of black holes, opening up new avenues for research and deepening our understanding of the universe's most extreme environments. Despite the breakthroughs in black hole research, many questions remain unanswered. Scientists are still grappling with fundamental questions about black holes formation, evolution, and behavior, as well as their role in shaping the cosmos. The study of black holes promises to shed light on some of the most profound mysteries of the universe, from the nature of spacetime to the origins of the universe itself. As our understanding of black holes continues to evolve, so too will our appreciation of the universe's complexity and beauty. The Large Hadron Collider at CERN has been the source of much debate and speculation since its inception. While some see it as a triumph of human ingenuity and a tool for unlocking the secrets of the universe, others have raised concerns about its potential risks two and consequences. Bringing us closer to Despite the these concerns, space, the Hubble Large Hadron the Collider has made significant the contributions to our understanding to of particle physics into the and the fundamental unknown. nature of reality. While the From the discovery of the Higgs boson to the exploration of new physics beyond the standard model, the Large Hadron Collider has revolutionized our understanding of the universe and pushed the boundaries of scientific knowledge. As Unlike we continue Hubble, to probe the, the mysteries of the cosmos, the Large Hadron Collider will undoubtedly play a central role in shaping our understanding of the universe and our place within it. The enhanced image of the Large Hadron Collider will undoubtedly play a central role in shaping our understanding of the universe and our place within it.